Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Constance the Reader, and today we're doing another manga haul. Will they ever end? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't. I have some that I bought from Crunchyroll through Right Stuff, because you know they were acquired by it, but they still use Right Stuff Warehouse, which packaging is great. But I also went back to Second and Charles and got some half off manga and somebody is blessing me with all of their BL. So whoever you are, don't think you're watching this, but if for some reason you are watching this, thank you. Thanks for selling your BL to the Second and Charles in Virginia. I appreciate you. So let's start with the newer volumes that I got through Crunchyroll. I am slowly collecting all of the light novels for I'm in Love with the Villainess. I still have to get volume five. There may be another one coming out, I'm not sure, but as of right now, I have the first four volumes for the light novel of I'm in Love with the Villainess. Still really enjoying this. I haven't picked the anime back up yet. No bad reason or anything. I still like the anime so far, but my husband and I have been watching Spy Family together. I've been watching A Sign of Affection. I'm keeping up with Apothecary Diaries. So since I assume that the season that's been put out of I'm in Love with the Villainess is like complete. I'm not sure if it's going to be second season or not. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to transition into reading the light novels because I know I'm going to like them so much. May even be bringing one of these with me to the beach for my family vacation next week. I have not decided yet. I think that will be a part of my vlog for vacationing what I finally decide to bring with me <laughs> to the beach. I don't know. I, I could bring like 15 things. That's how bad it is. Will I read those 15 things? Probably not, but I could bring them, you know, it's the options that I want, but this is the most recent light novel I've acquired. <laughs> Next up, I'm really excited to read this one. Okay. Someone had talked about this anime. I checked it out. I fucking loved it. Knew I had to get the manga. I will be getting the light novels. I haven't gotten the light novels yet. Oh, but I had to get Seventh Time Loop. Okay, somebody talked about this. And I think a coworker at one of the stores I go to mentioned this as well. As soon as I watched the first episode, I knew this was going to be my new fave. And, and I didn't mention that in the stuff that I was watching because I wanted to, you know, surprise y'all with this one. But Seventh Time Loop is another one I've been keeping up with. <laughs> it's coming out so fucking good seven time loop the villainous enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. it's so good i'll read the back for some of y'all seventh time is not the charm every time riche turns 20 she dies and is reincarnated to the day she gets dumped she has been a merchant and apothecary and even a maid for her seventh life she has one goal to live a long and lazy life but then she gets a marriage proposal from the crown prince the man who killed her in her previous life as a knight despite her determination to avoid drama here she goes again and they're not lying okay they're not lying about that i i just love this so far the anime is so good i love every time their eyes meet her eyes are very beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's just so good. It's just so fucking good. I love this. And no, have I started it yet? No. But I know that I'm going to like the manga so much. And I know I'm going to like the light novel because I'm going to buy that shit too. I have to. It's in my wish list on Crunchyroll. Maybe when I'm on this beach trip, because we will be going to a bookstore. And I have been told I get to go on a, you know, manga shopping spree while I'm there. I'm so excited maybe I'll find it. Either way, I just can't wait to read this. I'm still on the fence. Like, could I, should I bring these four with me on the beach? I could definitely enjoy myself reading them. I could take some really cute pictures with them with, you know, some cool coffee at a place we go to. I'm not sure yet, but if you've read Seventh Time Loop, if you're watching Seventh Time Loop, let me know down in the comments. Tell me how much you love it because there's no way you couldn't, <laughs> right? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I almost forgot to mention these and I'm glad these were beside me. I got an award for my job. I know, I'm so amazing. Where they gave me like $100 worth of Amazon gift cards. I try not to buy books on Amazon, but it was like, why not? So I read this first volume. 
I, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I had to see. I had to see where the story goes. Okay, so I went ahead and got me volume two and volume three of the Titan's Bride. I hope I didn't mention these already. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention volumes two and three. Oh my God, but oh my God. Did I mention these in my last one? I definitely, I definitely mentioned the first one. I remember that. So if I did already mention it, okay, I'm sorry. If I didn't, yeah, okay. It's definitely had some moments, okay? Questionable, yes. But I can't deny that I like this series. <laughs> I really like the main character. I really like the Titan, uh, Caius. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And I just, just found out that there is an anime, okay? I want to see that shit. I do. If you've seen the Titans Bride anime, please let me know down in the comments. I don't know where to watch it for free right now. You have to pay to watch it episode to episode on Amazon Prime, but I don't know that I want to do that. Because what if it's not uncensored? Am I right? I don't know. I can't even really get like a, a preview. So yeah. If it's uncensored, let a bitch know in the comments, please. But yeah, I had to get volumes two and three. And honestly, I can't wait to see where the story goes, okay? There's a lot of sex in this. I know, but, and, and you're probably thinking, story, plot, kind of, kind of. There's there's a plot there. I'm not, I can't, I can't lie to you, but oh my God, this is just so good. I like it. I, I don't have anything to say. I, I have three volumes and I enjoyed myself. And now I can't stop talking about them to people I meet. It was a wild ride and I enjoyed myself. So I got these two and there you have it. Next is all of the discounted used volumes that I got from Second and Charles. I found the first five volumes of Cast Heaven there. Now, I don't know if it's only five volumes. I didn't do any research. These are just the only five that were there. And I was really excited. You know, I've seen these in other people's collections. So I thought, why the hell not? And they were basically half off, okay? These volumes are regularly priced $12.99. They were six bucks. So oh, you can't, you can't beat something like that. You can't beat something like that. So I had to do it. If you've read this, let me know down in the comments. But as I said, I'm really happy for whoever. I, I, I assume that the person, <laughs> all of these used BLs are from the same person because what are the odds that it's not? That's just wild to me. But thank you again, whoever you are. If you're watching, you're probably not, it doesn't matter. Thank you. I also got Birds of Shangri-La. I don't know anything about this one. I just got it based off of the cover. Interesting. I kind of flipped through very interesting panels. Let's read the back, why don't we? A paradise of sensuality, Shangri-La is a male brothel celebrating the glories of gay sex. Newly hired Apollo is in charge of getting the men ready for clients, but as a straight man, he's a bit naive. Fee or Fi, one of the brothel's most sought after prostitutes is tasked with getting him up to speed, but not before toying with him a bit. Too bad the rules of the brothel are clear. No orgasms, no penetration, and no falling in love. Someone's fixing to fall in love. Someone's fixing to fall in love. So yeah, if you've read this, let me know down in the comments. I don't know how long this is. I'm not sure. If, uh, shit, this can be a one shot. Who knows? But if you liked it, let me know down in the comments. I have seen this a few times. I love the cover because it's so bright and pretty. Another one I don't know anything about. It's basically a cover by and the fact that it was on sale. And that is liquor and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I can't read this one because the sticker's covering it. And I really don't feel like... I really don't feel like ripping that off, but yeah, let me know if you like this one down in the comments as well. It looks cool. I don't even think I, I flipped through this one. Oh. Oh, wow. Mmm. Yeah, I think I'll like it. <laughs> it looks good. Again, don't know how many volumes that series is, but excited nonetheless. I also got links. Mm. This is a collection of intertwining stories that follow four not quite lovers as they find what links them together. Mm. So I think that's going to be cute. I didn't flip this through this one either. I'm surprised. Again, I, I at this point now when I go to Second and Charles, I am exclusively looking for things that are on sale or used, especially when it comes to manga. 
I'm pretty lucky with regular books. I, I don't, haven't bought a lot of regular books since last year. So obviously I did a lot of book buying last year, but I've gotten pretty lucky. So, so if I find anything that's used, I'm probably going to buy it because it feels like I got it for free and I know I didn't. <laughs> I know I just paid money for it, but mm, girl math. I found Scattering His Virgin Bloom volumes one and volume two. I have seen this first cover so many times, just never thought to pick it up. I will read the back. Hana, an Omega, frequently mistaken for an alpha, works at a local cafe and at 26 years old, he's somehow never gone in the heat and still retains his virginity. When his first heat finally hits, it's in front of an arrogant alpha Renjaku, a regular at the cafe whom he's been secretly crushing on. Will a sought after alpha such as Renjaku take his coffee and go or will he take something much sweeter instead? Okay, I've never read an Alpha Omega anything, I don't believe. I just am recently like learning these terms because there's another BL that's pretty popular I can't remember what the name of it is. If I can, I, I see the picture in my mind. I'll try to put the cover up. I'm pretty sure that's like a part of that. I don't know, would you consider that a trope? But yeah, I'm excited. I couldn't get past the name. I was like, this name, I'm, I'm fixing to get this goddamn manga. Like I have to, like that. The name for this is like when I see a cozy mystery title. I'm like, that's just too good to pass up. That title was good. Uh. Yeah, scattering his virgin bloom. I don't know. It just, I just had to get it. So it's been got and it will be read. Switching gears now. No more BL. I don't think any of these fall under that, but who knows? You know, we'll find out when we, when we see it. But that is volumes one and volume two of Yakuza Fiance. I, I don't know anything about this. I saw this recommended from somebody on TikTok that I follow. I think they have quite a few volumes in the background of their videos. And that's why I was like, oh, okay, well, this looks interesting. Another one I will read the back for everyone. Too much love will kill you. Yoshino grew up the sheltered Yakuza princess of the largest crime family in Osaka. Due to her resting bitch face and dangerous family, no man has ever approached her. When her grandfather signs a truce with the Tokyo-based Miyama crime family, he offers her up as a truce bride to the Miyama leader's grandson. Kirishima Miyama is popular, charming, and seems totally normal. But behind his smile is a violent, sadomasochistic who thirsts for her dominance, even more when she impresses him with her moxie. Even though she knows how bad Yakuza can be, she's stunned by his viciousness. She can't turn him down with the East-West Peace Treaty on the line, so instead she steals herself to play ball. I didn't flip through this one. I just bought it because I know I'd seen it in someone else's collection. Is that bad of me? I don't know. I don't think anything's going to get too explicit. There's no explicit content warning on here. But hopefully there's so much like tension. You know, I love a good tension. I know I love tension. So excited about this one. If you've read this, let me know down in the comments. And last, I thought that this was pretty cool. I found four volumes again don't know how long this series is but I found four volumes of Grand Blue Dreaming so this is another one that was recommended on TikTok but I remember seeing this sometime last year so it had been on my Amazon wish list for a while it was down like at the bottom and I just never got it so when I saw it I was like no oh, shit I'm just gonna get this I think this is also an anime I'm not sure I feel like I may have seen this on Amazon possibly, but I will also read this one to y'all. Into the Blue. After graduating from an all boys high school, Lori Kitahara moves away from home to go to college in a seaside town. He's eager to start a new chapter in his life, one filled with dreams of reinventing himself, meeting beautiful girls and reveling in his youth. But when his new abode is his uncle's dive shop, Lori's, is it Lori's or Yori? Probably Yori college debut doesn't turn out as glamorously as he planned. Can he keep himself afloat or will the booze-fueled antics of his university's diving club wash him away? A coming-age tale with beer, bums, and grand blue. Someone looks like uh, Sanji up in here. I'm excited! So 
I think this will be a nice little fun, easy read. So I'm excited. I didn't, I didn't flip through it either, but if you've read this or if you've watched this, because I'm pretty sure this is an anime. Pretty sure I've seen this. Let me know what your thoughts are. I vaguely remember the person who talked about this, talking about it. They said it was pretty funny, but that's all I can remember. I'm sure we're going to get a lot. I mean, it's, it's a beat. There's already someone who's naked, <laughs> but it's the beach. Oh yeah. But it's all censored. So it's fine. Nothing was wrapped in plastic. I can tell, but yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And that is my little book haul. I figured, let me go ahead and get these out of the way so I can also clean up my office in preparation for all of the new manga I hope to get when I'm on vacation since Devin's taking me on a shopping spree. So exciting. <laughs> can't wait. I just can't wait. It's just gonna be so much fun. Thanks, Debbie. Love ya. I know this is happening before we do it, but I just know that we're gonna just come away with a great little haul, okay? He's gonna stick through it. I'm gonna bring two bags with me. It's just gonna be so great. We're gonna really fill it up. We're gonna have so much fun. But yeah, that was my manga haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on other social media. It's in the description box down below. And you have a good day. Goodbye.